Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's tutorial is going to be a rather simple one as I'm feeling a bit lazy and this was a design I actually saw being used in a lot of different servers and I figured it'd be nice to make a tutorial about it so others would know how to make it. It is a rather boring design in my opinion. It's super basic and really quick to make. But I suppose it's a great place for many people to start, and some people might prefer a really simple design. So, without further delay, let's get into the tutorial. To start off, we're going to File, New, and we'll be using 1200 by 530 for the canvas. Click Create. Now we're going to create a new layer by hitting the plus in the corner. Go to the background, click Delete. We're going to come over to our rounded rectangle tool and just drop that down randomly. And I'm holding down my left mouse button to pop up more options. Now we're gonna come over to properties. If you don't see the properties window, go over to window, scroll down to properties, click that. It'll pop up right around there. If you don't want it there, you can always take it and drag it to the side, which it will then dock to. For the width of this, we're gonna put it at 950. And for the height, we're going to do 200, it's now linked, so 950 and 200. And we will probably make adjustments to this in just a moment once we have our character model in. Great, so now we're going to grab our character model and then drag her in. doesn't really matter who you choose, it's whatever really fits the best for you and your specific situation or I guess your banner type. Now we're gonna put her right in the side so she's covering the left corner. Go over to our rectangular marquee tool, highlight over everything in frame, and then do Control J and delete the extra layer. And the reason we do that, because parts of her are cutting out of the frame. So if we were to apply effects to her, the parts of her that are just touching this frame on the other side, it's gonna bleed over into the canvas and we don't want that. Now with her completely on this canvas that we're working on, I'm going to drag out from the bottom until we hit the little barrier right here, and then click delete, and now chop off all the extra bits at the bottom. Now hold I on your keyboard for the eyedropper tool. Don't let go of I, and then drag around on her clothes until you find a nice shade of red. I'm going to go with that, and I actually drop the or increase the brightness a tad bit. Now I return to the base, click fill, click this to make it red. Let's double click that and name it the base. Double click this, let's name this the model. I will click these two, I do control G and call this the base area. Now we're gonna grab our assets that we need. In this case, I'm using a low poly backgrounds. Now if we hold alt and click in between, you can clip it or right click and create clipping mask. Now we're gonna drag this down until it fits. So right around there. Then we're gonna take this and put it at luminosity. Where is that at? There we go. And drop the opacity to 65. Now we're gonna take this base layer, do control J, rename this, rename that to base, then drag that above. This base layer, we're gonna change the size for. We're gonna make the width 920 and the height we'll put at 185. And we'll take that, just make sure it's centered. Do make sure you make it completely black. That will come in handy in just a moment. Let's make sure that is in position. And if you want to make one pixel adjustments, make sure you're on the move tool and you can click the arrow keys on your keyboard. As you can see, it will move by one pixel. So that is now in position. Make sure we put this at linear dodge add. Then right click, blending options, inner shadow. And the settings we want are 68, 00, and 16. And that just adds a little bit of extra. I haven't seen a single banner that does this. I figured it's a nice little addition to it. Otherwise, it's gonna be just completely basic and simple. So we'll call this the shadow. 
Now we'll create a new layer. Here we're gonna take the rectangle tool. I'm just gonna drag it to about here. Let's make this flat. Let's drag this all the way below so it's hidden. Let's drag it down a tad. Now we'll take the pen tool, make sure you right click and rasterize layer style. Let's actually move it down just a tad more. It's still a bit too high. All right now take your pen tool, click the corner and then click uh, about that angle. Mess around with if you want a steeper slope and then go all the way around, right click, make selection, okay, delete, click the rectangular marquee tool, right click and then deselect. That's perfect. Now we can right click, blending options, gradient overlay, and you can just pick any assortment of colors that you like. I'm just gonna click this one right here, or that one, maybe that one. It doesn't really matter. You can pick out different colors depending on what would work best for your character. Maybe pink and red or pink and yellow. Pink her hair and yellow her lollipop. But you can mess around with that as you so desire. Now for the final step, we're gonna create a new layer. We're gonna do Control G, double click to rename it and let's call it the text. Now right click, let's make this yellow to keep ourselves organized. Now we're gonna use white as a text color. We'll call this rose. And does this even have a size with it? What's going on over here? Okay, so for whatever reason, my text tool broke. I have no idea how that happens. I have never seen this bug before. But essentially, you're going to use the Tokyo font with this one. Is it going to show me? Yep, so this one is Tokyo, and this one out here is Nexa Light. And you just type it out. It's super simple. Just regular text tool, move it around with the move tool and adjust the size and it's just a color white which I believe is six F's. Correct, it's O straight F's. So after this we're gonna go to the rectangular marquee tool, highlight over the entire thing, edit copy merged, file new creates, control V, delete the backgrounds and from here you can either do file export save for web which will compress it down and make it easy to upload or file save as and choose png other than that that really marks the end of the tutorial thank you so much for watching and i'll have another video linked to the ends for you to check out have a great day